Today is a new day. This is day two of our Halloween Horror Nights adventure in Universal Studios Orlando. I'm already Uni tired. Universal Orlando Resort. We had a long night last night. Mm -hmm. We're both tired. We were here till two o'clock in the morning. We didn't really have the greatest day, to be completely honest. But day two, we're going to be here to probably two o'clock in the morning again tonight. But we're starting off the day doing this behind the scenes unmasking the horror where basically we get to walk into all six houses with the lights on and take pictures there's no video absolutely zero video well we're going to video what we can a little bit it's allowed in some places yeah so you're going to get a lot of pictures a lot of voiceovers a lot of narration between jessica and i it's like a like a commentary mm -hmm. you ready for it okay it's time for i think it's called unmasking the horror yes I don't know, they Unmasking changed the names. Screams. Unmasking the screams. They changed names quite a bit. Yeah. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come from my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. getting ready to check in. They have a few different things here, like a, a doctor's laboratory, but look at this. Bride of Frankenstein, Oreo mini cake, bottled water, and hot coffee to start off our day. Yeah, I can deal with that. Standing here in the hallway, it's actually pretty cool. I'm all about symmetry and how things look and lines. I like these TVs. Now, one of the reasons why we're so excited about doing this, recently in the past, few years Jessica and I both realized that yes we do love being scared we love screaming we love the jump scares but we really love just kind of walking through the Halloween environment the horror environment and just kind of taking in the atmosphere so this a lights on tour of all the haunted houses makes the most sense for us I think I might actually like this than Halloween Horror Nights itself remains to be seen all right Fully checked in, getting ready to pick our food for later on today, or our lunch at the Monster Cafe. And I asked about these three figures right here, different costumes from Halloween Horror Nights previous years. Got a closer look at them. Man, my voice is starting to go a little crazy. All that fog last night. All right, so let's do this. So let's see, six house tour. Welcome to Scary Horror in the Heartland. Puppet Theater, Captive Audience, The Wicked Growth, Realm of the Pumpkin. I think it's Realm of the Pumpkin Lord, right? Inside there they mention that, but it's here it's Realm of the Pumpkin. It's a long name. The Haunting of Hill House, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, as well as the HHN Icons Captured. And then this is the cup we got last night. This is the rechargeable, refillable cup. I like that it's very simple and it's just, you know, it's got the icons on it. And here is our menu, Unmasking the Horror. So we get to choose a couple different things. And so it is what, about 9.15 in the morning right now. And lunch is until, what, one o'clock. So we're gonna have a long day. So let's go ahead and pick our food. When it comes down to it, they really don't give you that much different options. I mean, a few different salads, a few different entrees and desserts. And, and this is probably going to blow everything up because of the, the white balance. And if you can see that. So we are opting for the vampire, which it basically is the, let's see what it says here. Tender roasted pulled pork, crunchy slaw, savory barbecue sauce, pretzel roll, and crinkle cut fries. Mm, $13.49. <laughs> $13 which I... I mean, I don't know what the portions are going to be like, but mm. it definitely seems like it's a lot cheaper on here than what it is if you went to the actual Monster Cafe. Time will tell. We might be really hungry after this. I we, think it's pretty similar. We probably should have ate breakfast before we did this. We didn't do that. We were kind of rushing. Usually whenever we come to theme parks or when we came to Universal Orlando in the past, we were pass holders. We can kind of just kind of take our time. We knew the lay of the land. So this is something new for us. We rushed. I hate rushing. I hate rushing. Now this is really slick. It's not a pin, but it is a button. And it does have Jack on it. Check that out. Halloween Horror Nights. Unmasking the Horror Tour. 
everything on the back. Get your masters in mayhem. It's like it's like going to school. And then also doing the event, you get this event specific lanyard. Universal Studios behind the screens. It's got some monsters on there. Universal Monsters, there's Frankenstein's monster there. Man, this is beautiful. And flip it over. Oh, it's got the names of the monsters as well. Dracula, the Wolfman, Frankenstein, Mummy, Creature from the Black Lagoon up there at the top. Oh yeah, I'm really happy with this. The Haunting of Hill House. Now sadly, when we go inside here, we can't really take many photos of anything. Like I said, that probably can't take much photos. That's okay. But just look at that. Ah. Hopefully you're ready for this baby goal. It's not like, I wish we were going into the real thing. Can you imagine if they turned the real house into the Haunting of Hill House? Technically, the sign says Hill House, but it's crossed out and it says Hell House. That's cool. Trust me when I tell you, I wish I could take you inside there and show you, but instead, a few different pictures in a few different rooms. If you want the whole thing, you gotta come here, you gotta check it out, as well as watch it on Netflix. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful in there. Jessica and I have both decided that we want our house, our wallpaper, to look like the walls inside that building. Oh, so good. Hey, look at all of these pumpkins. Man. This is Jessica's dream. And there's a little pumpkin over here that everybody absolutely loves. It's this guy right here. Little Boo. He's cute. A quick little video of Jessica and a little Boo. There you go. He's so cute. Happy Halloween.
Yeah, this is really cool. Welcome to Cary, or well, Scary, a nice place to die. And what's really neat about this, look at this. Welcome to Cary, Ohio, founded in 1858. Population, 3,594. I love this all. The Cary Hunting Club, oh man. All right, let's go inside. It's getting hot out here. Sadly, the only house that is off limits today is Beetlejuice, which stinks, but it's beautiful. Let me look at that artwork there. It's pretty awesome, right? It's definitely not a scary house. It's more like a throwback. It kind of feels more like a fun house, but it's still great. Glad that it's here. Who doesn't love Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. We came through Halloween Horror Nights last night and out of the houses that we saw, this was my favorite, Puppet Theater. And seeing it during the daylight, this is freaking beautiful. Look at this. Jessica wants to go up there to the ticket booth and try to get a ticket. It's not gonna happen. You see all those posters? Man, that's cool. I want this giant one over here of the skeleton. Looks like he's wearing some sunglasses right there in the center of your screen. You're absolutely beautiful, baby girl. This is fun, I'm having a blast. I love how worn down this place looks. Everything about it. Well done, Universal, well done. Don't get me wrong, all the houses are beautiful and getting to go inside them during the day with the lights on, 
A dream come true, but nothing beats lunch. And lunch is provided. Well, we have to pay for it. Here at Monsters Cafe. We always find it a little weird to show us eating on camera. Sometimes we do it when it's a quick snack. So we're just gonna show you what we ordered, and then we're gonna show you a little walk around a Monster Cafe. So we got the Vampire, which basically is pulled pork barbecue on a pretzel bun, crinkle fries, and this cookie. So we're excited about it. We are starving. Now, usually whenever we eat at the Monsters Cafe, we sit over in the Dracula section. So we decided to do something a little bit different and sit in the sci-fi section. And in doing so, typically you got aliens pretty much surrounding you as you eat. I mean, look at this guy here. It's kind of like he's reaching down to get a bite of your hamburger. I love the old 1950s and 60s science fiction movies and the TV shows. There's just something about them. They don't make them like these anymore. And again, remember we have that rule about looking up. As you dine, you just might have a giant spider above you. And look at this, inside the wall, different science fiction masks. Yeah, these are cool. You gotta have some creature from the Black Lagoon in here. Yeah, that's one of my favorite photos. Man, that's beautiful. Out of all the classic monsters, Frankenstein's monster and the creature from the Black Lagoon are my two favorite. I'm not sure how well you're gonna see this because of the reflection, but the light display that they have, look at this. It's a giant life-size creature right here. Yeah, so, so cool. I mean, seriously, why don't we have a room in our house devoted to the universe of monsters? The classic, the ones that started it all. The beautiful black and white nightmares. Even the condiment station, it looks like it's straight out of Frankenstein's lab. See what I mean? Right down here, while you're getting some condiments, mustards, uh, red pepper, ketchup, all that jazz to fix up your burger, Dr. Frankenstein's fixing up the monster. As you walk into the restaurant, these busts, they're all over the place. But if you look very, very closely, right down here, there's a little plaque may look familiar. See where it says? Sculpture by Tom Savini. We got the Invisible Man, the Phantom of the Opera, the Mummy, an even bigger picture of the Mummy, this time the size of a wall. But our favorite is the Dracula section, or shall I say the Dracula wing. It's like being in Dracula's castle. Look at this. It's beautiful. In fact, if we walk on down here to the other section, just past the banister that would have gone upstairs, there's more Dracula stuff down here, the Bride of Frankenstein even. Usually whenever we're here and we're doing a, a closing video, especially for Halloween Horror Nights, it's always back here in the corner. This over here is probably one of our favorite sections. There's the bride herself right there. And that table, the Grim Life Collective table. Man, these paintings are beautiful. And now for the Icon's house. Lights on tour. Again, no video, but a whole bunch of pictures.
we just got done doing the Icon's house. And I'm gonna say this, Jessica and I both didn't, we really didn't have much knowledge when it comes to the history of the Icon's. And after leaving that house, a whole new respect for the game, a whole new respect. The, the Icon's, the history, the story, it's insane. It's insane how deep it goes. Okay, we've been going since 9 o'clock this morning. I got up at 6 a.m., took care of some editing, got here, did this, been walking around all day. It feels so good to finally Nearly be sitting down, right? Nearly nonstop we've been walking around since 5 a.m. We stopped for food. The food was absolutely delicious. It was Monsters Cafe, so of course it was gonna be delicious. Uh, the last two houses that we walked through, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the Icons, they were on a sound stage, so they really didn't have a, a house or a facade that we could have, you know, did the opening saying this is what we're going into, but what did you think of them? Both of that them together. The anyway, yeah, like I can imagine the, um, the gas station being on the front of a house. Yeah. So I guess you kind of do walk up upon it, just so you're not outdoors for it. But I really like that though. I like that it was, um, I keep, I don't call it textile because like it's so many things that I could touch. Oh, we were touching everything. Followed by, you know, using hand sanitizer. I will say this, going into this event, I had no clue the history of all the different icons, but after today, I felt like we had a major crash course. And it was very interesting, a whole new found respect for the history of all the different icons here at Halloween Horror Nights. And the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, absolutely grotesquely beautiful, oh including like the feather room, like the chicken room. Nothing like that out in Hollywood, so no, much this is gory. Yeah, mad props for that. Uh, all in all, I think I kind of like this better than the actual Halloween Horror Nights event here in Orlando. I had a blast. You can actually do this tour without buying a ticket for the park or for a Halloween yeah. Horror Nights. You can just come for a six house tour or a three house tour and then go home. They do not do the same houses on the six versus the three. Right. So, so you're not, you can do both tours and not see double houses. They mix it up a little bit. So we, we missed a few of them, which is understandable. But if you like the idea of Halloween, if you do not like being scared and don't want to have people with chainsaws chasing you, chasing you down, you can come here and see the houses. I had a blast. Yesterday started out like crap. Today is starting out phenomenal. I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. With that, if I could, I'd do this again every year. Oh yeah, I'd definitely come back for this. With that being said, the Unmasked Behind the Screams tour <laughs> here at Universal Orlando Resort. Retired. Happy Halloween. Ew.